So if you're somebody that is coming back to Borderlands 3 after finding out about Borderlands 4 being announced, then this Zane build is going to be absolutely perfect for you so that you're able to just pretty much play all the game with little to no effort needed. Uh, you're able to do all your true trials, your takedowns, your proving grounds, any of that stuff that is required of you uh, at that highest level, this build can do. So let's jump right on into it. Now, let's first start off with the weapons you're going to be using in this setup, and it's a pretty Hyperion-focused setup. Uh, I'll explain once we get into the skill tree, especially purple tree, why I like Hyperion weapons for this setup. Uh, but first up, the Redistributor is a classic weapon that has been really used by, I mean, a whole hell of a lot with Zane specifically uh, because of just that every seventh shot is amp, amp shots chains nearby enemies. Uh, you're able to chain all that great critical damage and just damage in general, elements, all that fun stuff. Uh, the one I use is action skill and next to mags uh, is cryo damage. Next up will be the reflux. This is just a great choice if you are looking to add just some corrosion damage to your build. It also has that great chaining effect against targets. Uh, and the one I have on is next to mags shock damage. Now, one of my more personal favorite weapons is going to be the smog. A big reason why we like this is damage is amplified while the shield is active and active uh, at its max capacity. Uh, so that means whenever there's a Hyperion shield on the weapon, as long as it is up, get those amp shots but even without that it does insane critical damage uh, i really really love this weapon especially on zane where critical damage and hits and stuff like that are very prevalent uh, and the one I have on this for the annoyment is going to be next to Mag's Corrosion Damage. And finally, probably I think the strongest weapon of this build is going to be the Butcher. A uh, big reason why this is because just the fact it just never stops shooting bullets. It is insane. You can pretty much never have to reload if you just like get an amazing RNG feed on this. Uh, it is just perfect for, you know, bossing. It's perfect for just mobbing. Uh, it's my main weapon for bossing whenever I'm attacking a target just because I can just unload on them at that high rate of fire. Constantly have bullets going back into the mag and not really having to worry about much. Uh, the annoyment I have on this is next to Mag's Corrosion Damage. Now, for our shield, we're going to be using the Revolter. Now, big reason why we like this is for that Shock and Rage damage that we're going to get on it uh, whenever our uh, actually our shield is depleted. Uh, but that's going to be helped out with the fact that we have the Annoyment Action Skill Start. Activate any effect that triggers the Shield Break or Fill. So that means whenever we just activate like our Mantis Cannon uh, or activate our shield that we're going to be using for the setup, which it's mainly just going to be Mantis Cannon, uh, it's going to be constantly reactivating that effect for us giving us that extra damage. Now, the class mod we're going to be using for this setup is going to be the classic CN Dead. Whenever Zane damages an enemy with his weapon, he has a chance to automatically activate all his kill skills. And additionally, his kill skills gain a 10% effective bonus. So we really like that. We like that extra effect that's just going to add to all of our kill skills. Uh, in our skill tree, we're already able to constantly activate those kill skills. So just doing damage on a target to do that as well means we never have to worry about our kill skills being down. Now, I will say uh, the passives I have on this aren't amazing. They actually work out really solid for this build. Uh, I actually found this just from farming, uh, but you mainly just want to kind of like focus into like Hyperion damage, especially since we have nothing but Hyperion stuff on this build, and especially in that crit damage. Now, when it comes to our grenade, we're running a light speed now, big reason why we're using this is mainly in our orange part of our skill tree, uh, but also for the fact that it gives us that free annoyment of action skill and gain bonus 50% cryo damage to weapons for 10 seconds. And then finally, it's going to be a Hyperion Company Man. Pretty easy to figure out why we like this. Uh, it's going to give us all the extra damage to our Hyperion weapons, which is pretty much everything on this setup. Now, let's look at our skill tree and everything that's going on here. First up, green tree. We're not doing anything in it. Uh, I, we could go down a brain freeze and get a lot of good stuff from that, but we already have plenty of cryo damage in the setup. Uh, we're pretty much just really just sticking with the regular barrier, not putting any points into this tree. For purple tree, we're going to start with the first tier. We want to max out mana focus for that great accuracy, handling all that stuff. Headsman hand for that critical damage. Commitment for that free gun damage and cooldown rate. Uh, fugitive so that we're able to sprint and shoot at the same time. Big reason why, I, again, I was talking about before, liking Hyperion weapons with this setup. Fugitive helps that out a lot so that we're able to keep that good accuracy while we're running around and everything like that. Domino effect for that great reload speed and fire rate. One point in the sheer will, pretty much just to get that nice effect of cooldown rate uh, and like stacking cooldown rate with like you know, critical hits, but mainly just to get down the tree, eraser, so that we get that 120% piercing damage, really just great all, all around to use, especially whenever like you have like a heavier tier enemy, like a like a small one in front of you, you just shoot the <laughs> small tier enemy and then, you know, you're gonna get that, you know, piercing damage. So that's always really nice. And then finally, our man Flint for that bonus damage, uh, obviously gonna be really solid to use. 
And obviously we're gonna be using the Mantis Cannon for this setup, so Cold Shoulder, I like to use that for just like constantly applying Cryo. Uh, you can do something like No Way Out to constantly, you know, debuff targets, but that's pretty much just like what you wanna do. I, I think things die pretty fast as is, so I don't really ever have to worry about that. Uh, and then also uh, proliferation for those additional charges. Blue tree is going to be going a lot of stuff into violent speed for the extra movement speed and then violent momentum for the extra gun damage based on our speed. Uh, we'll talk about another perk going into our red tree that helps out with this as well, but uh, pretty much big thing that you need to know is the faster you're moving, the more damage you're going to do. So just sprint around like a wily e. Coyote. Actually, wait, if it had been Roadrunner, it wouldn't have been. Uh, anyway, you just want to constantly run around. Cool hand for that reload speed. We always like that. And then one point to salvation so that we are able to get that just free 3% life steal. Uh, pretty much everything you do is going to be fine with just this one point. Uh, you never really should have to put any more than one into this. C in red, so that activating an action skill automatically activates all of our kill skills. Additionally, they get a bonus of 15% added to them. Uh, obviously, we're gonna be constantly just like pinging our Mantis Cannon on our shoulder, so this will always be activating. Uh, so that, that's a good reason why I also have C and Dead so that we're able to just take advantage of that uh, extra activation as well. Always max out Violent Violence for that fire rate. That fire rate is absolutely insane. And then just put in many, as many points as you need into playing dirty uh, just for that extra shot chance, but mainly just to get down the tree. Same thing with Good Misfortune. You mainly only need to put one point in here. I just put two just for that 12% duration. Uh, but essentially just making sure our action skill, mainly our barrier, stays around longer. And then death falls close for that additional kill skill bonus and duration. And finally with red tree, we're going to max out synchronicity for that 20% extra action skill uh, gun damage. And finally in red tree, we're going to start off with maxing out synchronicity for that gun damage. Uh, just a couple points into borrowed time, mainly just to get down the tree. Uh, but at the same time, action skill duration, you know, getting that uh, absolutely max out Donnie Brook for the extra gun damage and health regen. Obviously, really solid. Uh, one point in the duct tape mod, just so they're able to constantly fire that grenade just for fun uh, and also be able to get that good kill skill. And then also, obviously, Super Sonic Man is going to be a huge one to give us that additional. Uh, movement speed whenever we activate our action skills. Here's a quick look into my guardian rank and all those skills there. Pretty much got everything maxed out. Um, you know, I personally just think you should just always have these maxed out if you're running around doing all that stuff. Uh, if you're somebody who was like, hey, I disable guardian rank, have fun. Go for it. Don't care. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't really think the guardian rank and all that stuff is all that important. But uh, at the same time, again, this is mine maxed out. Also real quick, just to show you, we are doing this on Mayhem 11. All the content has been in Mayhem 11 and all the content that I've run into has been a true trials version of whatever it is. So it's obviously scaling that at four people rather than just one. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm probably gonna be doing a couple more build videos uh, here in the future, kind of leading up to Borderlands 4. Uh, I literally cannot wait <laughs> to play Borderlands 4. Uh, getting that live reaction was a lot of fun. Uh, getting to do with like friends and everything was awesome. And just, I'm just so glad that the series is moving forward. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below, how excited are you for Borderlands 4? Is there anything else that you're interested in seeing, whether it's Zane, Flack, uh, Amara, or uh, Moe's? Uh, and also, again, just subscribe, become a member, and follow me over on YouTube and Twitter at Birdman778. Guys, thank you so much. I hope you have a great night, day, or whatever it may be.